Project Reality Vet, so it's weird you've got a pregnant cow, where is it? Hello and welcome to the follow-up video to our recoil series. Just a couple of videos looking at close quarters combat and medium to long range with some of their most popular weapons in game. Just to see what the recoil like and the patterns like and the accuracy of some of these weapons. So as you can see here we have the ACOG and I'm going to be firing at probably, I don't know, 50, 60 meters. It's probably at about 100 actually from looking at the map and I'm going to be aiming for that symbol that looks like an Uzi, that little mark on there. And I'm going to try and use a focus, although I don't know if it actually affects the weapon because it obviously doesn't zoom in anymore. I'm going to just try and do single fire here and see if there's any particular pattern at this distance and how actually how accurate it is now that I've stood completely still with full stamina. So we're just going to put that amount of shots down there. So let's run down and have a look and have a look at the groupings as we get down there. So as you can see, some really tight groupings here. That is extremely accurate. It is pulling slightly to the right of where I'm aiming, whether that's my actual aim or whether it's something to take into consideration when you're aiming for a headshot. It may be that we have to aim slightly more to the left. But we'll look at that in a little bit more detail as we start to put some more shots down range and uh, we'll start to work out where the groupings are and we'll have a look at prone and uh, firing as you would normally in game, which is obviously not this relaxed in single shot fire mode. So here I am, I'm in the crouch position now, and I'm aiming just for the tip of that oozy looking mark on the wall. Every time you play the game now, you're going to be looking at that thinking like it's an oozy, sorry. <laughs> it's going to make your mind uh, constantly be thinking of it. And I can already see through the site uh, that this grouping is very tight indeed, my goodness me. Um, so as you can see, the difference between actually standing up and kneeling down is actually quite drastic. Let's get down there and have a look. Yep, and as you can see extremely tight grouping that is a headshot every single shot but again it is pulling to the right this may be I don't know maybe it's difficult to, to, to say what the problem is there maybe it is the weapon or is it me not not sure so I'm actually in the prone position now and I'm pu I'm firing down here at that is the usual fire rate that I see a lot of people doing in game and I'm just going to click this over and move it over slightly and we'll aim underneath the Uzi sign as you can see this is in full auto mode the recoil is absolutely massive I really don't think even, I'm only slightly tapping the mouse here so I really don't think that this weapon um, should be used at this range in full auto you're just not going to hit anything the, the spread is going to be so large as, you, as you'll see as we get down here Single fire mode is definitely the way to go. Uh, let's have a look. So as you can see, this is the one where we were laying prone and taking our time. And as you can see, the burst up here for full auto is probably, what, 15 feet, 10 feet up from where we were. And this is the distance that we're shooting from, as you can see on the map. So depending on the scale of this map, it's probably just under or over, slightly over one square. So that gives you an idea of the sort of range on that weapon and the kickback and recoil that it has. Okay, everybody's favourite weapon, it's certainly my favourite weapon in other games. This saw, and I'm only going to be using this one in the prone position because you don't really want to be firing this unless it's close quarters and you're running into a compound blast and everything. You're just not going to get the range. So I'm literally just touching the mouse here, one little click, and I'm aiming just above that archway. And uh, the focus runs out very, very quickly. So I see a lot of people engaging with this like a hose pipe, like like it's a mini chain gun on the side of a black hawk it's not it's a suppressive weapon um the accuracy i do feel should be a lot better i mean look the spread is massive here and um i i am aware before people say that the devs have mentioned on the forums that they are going to be looking into all the recoil patterns and um everything else that you know the kickback and everything else this is is pre-alpha so, uh, sorry, this is alpha, same thing. We're still a long way off, and there's going to be a lot of tweaking and things that these guys are going to do. So here I am, this is how a lot of people use it. The absolute spray, and as you can see, it goes completely over the building. That's me not using any mouse correction. Whereas on the left now, I'm putting down on the mouse. I'm trying to control the recoil a little bit. But as you can see, at this distance, a lot of people, you know, spray and pray, hoping to get those Taliban kills. So if we just jump down here now and have a look... We shall see how bad the spread is and what the chances are you actually getting a kill when you open up. 
let's have a look as you can see it is quite wide is that really very large probably over an area of six to eight feet so if you're spraying and praying from the other side your chances of getting hit are not very large um, close quarters here so this is giving me a lot more accurate and I'm actually using the mouse pulling down as I'm firing as you can see that's a kill all day long in close quarters with the saw weapon So now we move on to one of these, basically a sniper rifle for the Taliban, and I'm only going to again use this in prone, it's not really the sort of weapon you're going to be using at close quarters, and I'm going to be aiming at the centre of that archway down there, quite hard to see, very fiddly, it's really quite difficult, um, I do wish there was more zoom on this weapon, it's quite hard to see anything at distance, through that tiny little sight, obviously with the foliage and everything else, so I'm just going to put some shots down kick back again it's quite savage on this let's come down and have a look I do like this weapon though it feels um, feels satisfying when you get a kill let's put it that way well as you can see that is very accurate that's multiple headshots there um, I think it's probably gonna be two to the chest we'll put them down but no complaints about that whatsoever so let's have a quick look at the pistol see what the accuracy is. I'm not going to go too far on this one because uh, it is a last resort weapon when you're in between reloading. So I'm just going to aim for that little white patch if you can see that at the resolution on your screen. And uh, There is no focus on this so there is no um, steadying or anything like that. So I'm struggling a little bit to pull it back in after each shot. Get some shots down there. Well, I don't think we really need to discuss that, do we? That's obvious. So let's put some rounds down as you would in panic mode when you see the enemy. Again, a little bit of spread, but again, that's that's a kill. Definitely. Quite a good group in there on there. Anyway, this has just been a really quick look at some of the recoil patterns in squad as we know everything's going to change, but for now, if you want to know what it's like, the accuracy and everything, this has been the video for you. Thanks for watching. There's more videos coming on, lots of different interesting aspects in the squad universe. Let's get everybody else we know squadified, and I shall see you on the battlefield. Thanks for watching. I've been Para. Bye-bye.